Hello, my Sagittarius. This is your daily for the 9th through the 10th. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started, guys, with, excuse me, an angel prayer. Clear your vibes. Archangel Metatron. Thank you, Metatron, for clearing my energy field. Okay. Let's see. That is your thing for today. So let's see what the tarot has to offer here. What's going on for my Sagittarius? Clearing your vibes. Ooh. Hmm. You come with all majors here. So there's a lot going on around you guys. I feel like, um, hmm, I feel like there is a very strong connection between um, you and a Gemini. Very strong. Could be a Virgo. Could be an Aries. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Libra. That's just the energy that's present. It does not have to be those signs, those though, guys. Okay. But there's something, um, hmm, there's, there's this strong chemical, like, reaction when you guys are together. I feel like it's, like, magnetic. But at the same time, I get the feeling that it could go, it could, like, it could be extremely good or it could be extremely bad. And I feel like right now, there is somebody really trying to make this happen with you guys because they see you as the empress here or either you are trying to really make this happen and there is somebody that you are viewing as like the one very attracted to this person um this is like very strong unmistakable attraction to someone and it's not just a sexual energy here. I feel like in order for this to happen, for whoever is trying to, whoever is trying to like get this ball rolling, um, there is a need to raise the vibration because this cannot happen. This cannot come together if you guys are not on the same playing field here. Okay. So whoever is, and I feel like it's the masculine energy that's trying to make this happen. Um, I feel like the feminine energy is really coming from um, a good place, is in a good place, confident in themselves. You know, this is somebody that's very caring, very loving, um, just sure of themselves. They take care of people, they take care of themselves, and it's like, you know, they're good. So I feel like if this is something that somebody is wanting with Sagittarius, um, they there's something that they need to work on within themselves. They need to raise their vibration, okay? Let's see why this is happening here. Hmm. Hmm. It's happening because... <laughs> This is a very Taurus energy right here. Taurus Aries energy, I feel, for a lot of you. Again, does not have to be those signs though, guys, but um, very strong here. But somebody's not budging. Somebody's waiting on the other person to make that first step. And I get the feeling that for you women, Sagittarius, um, you guys are not moving. You're not moving. Um, somebody is uh, just kind of reminiscing about you, thinking of all the good times that you guys shared. They cannot stop thinking about you. Okay? For you guys who are watching this, I feel like there's somebody that you know you have this very strong connection with, um, but 
I think you need to be sure of yourself here. Because as long as you're not sure of yourself, this is not going to come into fruition. Okay? So there's a need to be sure of yourself, <clears throat> guys, if this is you wanting your relationship back. Or you want to be with somebody who you feel like may be the one for you. Okay? So that was very quick, very fast. Um, yeah. Somebody's really contemplating this. They're wanting this badly here. And I feel it. Okay. Let's see what the outside influence is. We have Scorpio here as well. Mm. I think the reason why uh, the person, this magician, why this person wants this or is not, not wants this, but they do want it, of course. We've already discussed that. But the reason why they are not sure of themselves is because this is what they did to you. This is what they did to you. Okay. Um, so somebody deceived you. Somebody walked out on you. And um, they completely just kind of stomped on your feelings, I feel. And they know it. They know what they did. Okay? They know exactly what they did. Um, they, they left you. They neglected you. They did not show you the love that you felt like you deserved. And they walked out and they knew what they were doing. Now, this is the thing. If this person does come back, be careful because the magician with the Seven of Swords, that is a very, very tricky energy. And I think that's why Clear Your Vibes is here because this person is not in a good space right now. Okay? And they may be trying to manifest something while they're not in a good space, which is not a good thing. And it's not going to work out in their favor because um, the Empress is here. The Empress uses her discernment. She will be able to pick up on this type of energy and it's going to be a no-go. Okay. So also we have Aquarius and Cancer energy here, you guys. Okay. Let's see what the advice is for you guys. Hmm. Keep doing what you're doing because you've closed out a cycle here. There's a cycle that you have closed with this individual. You have accomplished something. You have accomplished knowing yourself, um, getting your confidence back, being unwavering in what you believe and what you would tolerate. Okay. And I feel like this is you keeping it moving. Okay. Now, of course, everybody has free will. But I think you guys will be able to, you'll know if somebody is coming at you with this magician, the seven of swords energy, this very deceitful um, energy, if they have not changed, if they have not cleared their vibes, okay, you will know. So be careful of that, my guys. And um, excuse me, I will be speaking with you soon. Bye now.